now I don't know what to ask about. Well, often what's just happened is what has stirred something. And so that really is co-creating at its best when you're parlaying off something that just happened. So was it something there? You know, <laughs> I just asked this feeling about you just had some movement just now. You just got ready or to be ready and the words haven't quite caught up yet. That's all. It's about this. I had this feeling about seeing a dairy and I don't even know dairy. I've never met him and I feel a little ashamed that I have this feeling. Of what? That he's around. I can yeah. see him over there yeah. and then she's standing behind me and yeah. stuff like that. And? And I feel weird. You feel weird about what you see? Yeah. Because you can see it and others can't? Yeah. Well, you are weird that way. Oh. <laughs> Esther has a friend who is weird like you. Yes. <laughs> and someone was weird like that the other day, so she can see the energy. So we're talking about this vibrational reality that most can't see because your eyes aren't tuned to it. So when you see energy, it just means that you're in the vibrational vicinity and you're translating the vibration into sight. Esther is not visual like that in a setting like this, as we're choosing you, she can interpret the light. When you have a question and low resistance, you spike. And so she can feel the impulse and see what it is that we are looking for. But on a day-to-day -day basis, Esther does not see Esther's an auditory translator. So what bothers you about that? I'm scared to be alone. I'm scared to be alone and too weird. Esther worried about being too weird, but then she just got used to it. Okay, 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 okay.